You just gotta do it. Just start. You gotta stop wasting time on the setting up part and just experience it and try to make this work. You know, this is something that I used to be like very guilty of, especially when like try to make something new. Like when I come up with a new idea, I'm like, okay, how do I do this step by step? But the truth is, there is really no like step by step guide. I mean, no matter how many videos, books that you read, or even online courses that you watch, there is really no step by step. Yes, they're there, but they're not going to work as efficient or well for you. Mostly because like your journey is going to look way different than someone else. You know, um, especially like an online course. Like, let's say you do invest in the online course, and they promise you that you can make 10k a month, right? And they give you out the step-by-step -step guide, the format. But here's the thing, that online course, there are probably like 100 people, 1,000 people, 10,000 people found the same exact step-by-step -step guide and try to make that work. So why would their format, their formula work for you compared to everyone else, right? It's just like creating more competition with the same exact map to get somewhere. It's like following the same map, how to get the treasure chest, right? You know, if you go the same path, at that point, it's just like you gotta run there, you gotta sprint there, you know? But if you find your own like route to the treasure chest, you find your own shortcut, you find your own step-by-step -step on how to get somewhere, it'll be way efficient, it'll be way better for yourself, you know? So that's why I say don't waste too much time on buying courses, you know, buying ebooks, buying like the best equipment and buying the LLC or whatever you have to do to set anything up. Your first priority should really be how do I make this work? How do I make my first profit? How do I make my first sale? You know, and knowing that it will be a much better thing for yourself. You'll feel more at ease because you're not constantly trying to rush towards something. You're working on your own progress. You're working on your own steps, you know? You're working through how you wanna work, you know? Um, and you know, like I say, the best way to learn is learning through yourself, learning through your journey, learning through your experience because knowing that will help you way better than to try to learn through someone else, you know? And yes, I will say that everyone does learn different. Some people learn better through someone else's failure. Some people learn better through experiencing it. Some people learn better through watching someone's journey. Some people learn by just doing it, you know? Um, but knowing that is like, it depends really on you, right? It depends on like your learning factor, right? Uh, if you're a visual learner, then this will have a different unfair advantage towards someone that's um, people that can learn by just hearing something, you know? And I say all this because like, when you learn something, this is how you can really indicate on your path of just starting, you know? Um, and I will always say like, I'd rather have someone try a hundred ideas and fail at them by actually experiencing it than thinking of a hundred ideas, learning the step by step and not actually doing it. And I say this because people that don't really do it and just learn, you're not gonna really memorize it. You're not gonna really intake it into your own factor of life. I always say when you learn something and when you experience something, you entail it into your life. You implant it into your journey of growing as a person, you know? Um, that's the best way how I learn now. Uh, I, I, I'm sure I've been doing it for a while uh, when I first started, but when I always did start, I just like kept constantly watching YouTube videos, kept constantly watching like videos. And this wasn't even like before I even started content creation or even um, an online business. I remember even doing this with, with like Fortnite, you know, <laughs> like uh, how to become a better builder or how to become better at aiming, you know? And people that really watch tutorial videos like that will exceed a lot more than people that don't really watch video. And I say this because when you're constantly trying to learn something and then implant it with yourself, like doing it, that is like a lethal strategy. Like if you could learn something by watching the video and doing it and starting, you'll exceed way better than people that just learn it and don't do anything. And uh, if you're someone like a gamer that used to do that or do it now, watch how to video, there's tutorial video of how to learn something. I didn't do it, you will learn way better. Uh, but I'm, I'm really talking about people that just like try to figure out how to start something and then don't start it, you know? Um, but yeah, that, that's something I used to do as a kid was always try to learn how to be better at something. Uh, and most of the time, some of those ideas never really work because sometimes I will say the videos that you do watch, um, sometimes they say a whole lot of nothing. 
And that's something I notice is like it's very repetitive, right? Someone will say the same exact thing over and over again throughout all the videos just because for the views. So knowing that it's like, okay, not only now you're wasting time on watching videos and not doing it, but now you're watching, wasting time on watching someone that keeps saying the same thing over and over, you know? So definitely just like, don't waste time on that. Just do it. Just do what you gotta do, you know? The best journey, the best way of how to succeed in any online business, any uh, content creation, becoming an actor, whatever you're pursuing in life, it just starting, just doing it, put yourself out there, try to make this work, try as many ideas, you know, ideas will come and go, it's only up to you to decide on how you intake those ideas, you know, and the best ideas do come from yourself, you know, um, but yeah, I mean, th that's something that I have learned was like, just do it, you know, I know you probably hear it over and over again, I probably said it like 50 times in this video already, just saying just do it. But this is something I always need to hear was like, instead of consuming all this information, instead of trying to figure out what this all is and try to figure out the step-by-step -step guide, is that you're going to figure it out every day. You're gonna figure it out through your journey, through your process of learning, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, this is something I really wish I heard a lot uh, younger, especially when I first started my YouTube video, like YouTube channel, not video, I mean, yeah, video, but really my first YouTube channel, I um, I never really done anything. I, I think mostly it was like the fear of like not knowing how this will go, you know? And that's something that you should avoid, and this is something I avoid now, is like, when you overthink it, you think of like the end result. You think about, okay, can this really work? Then you think about, well, there's like 10,000 people doing the same thing. So how can I ever st um, stand out? Or it feels like it's too saturated. Like it's not too saturated if you have find your unique twist, right? What's too saturated is understanding is that you're getting the fear of not trying. You're getting the fear of procrastinating of not starting something. You're getting the fear of trying to figure out how to do something but not, not, but not actually doing it. And that's what I mean, like, don't overthink it. Don't try to figure out, can this really work? You're not gonna know if this can work until you actually do it. You won't really know that, you know? Um, yeah, and that's something I was like guilty of like a lot, you know, I was trying to figure out could this work, you know, I will say like there are people that are smart enough to know if something's gonna work or not, you know, and that's something that I had like the in uh, intuition of knowing that and sometimes your intuition will be wrong. Sometimes like there's ideas that I thought that wouldn't have worked and fast forward a year later, I tried that idea and it did work and I'm like, damn, I should have just started that idea a year ago, you know, so that's what I mean like just do it and see where it goes, you know? Even if it feels like it's the worst idea, sometimes that worst idea are the best idea that you can pursue, you know? Uh, don't try to outsmart ideas, just just go for it, you know? But that's gonna be it for today's video. I gotta get going, I gotta, I should probably go to the gym today. I mean, I went to the gym yesterday, no. Yes, I did, no, I didn't go to the gym yesterday, like, damn. Yeah, I gotta go to the gym today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got a couple, I got a, I got something in mind that I, I wanna talk about tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Anyway, be good. Just start because just starting is actually the hardest part. But uh, anyway, be good, peace.